ever since the revelation of Larkade Dragneel within Fairy Tale Chapter 493, and moreover, ever since the revelation that he is none other than Zer's son. Within one of the recent chapters of Fairy Tale, many people have been trying to fill in the pieces to this now absolutely humongous puzzle. So many theories are popping up around the Fairy Tale community when it comes to Larkade's character, but one of the biggest things that people are talking about is his past. So many people within the Fairy Tale community are now questioning where Larkade came to the picture in regards to Zer's past, considering Larkade Arcade himself referred to Zerf as his father. However, many people as well are bringing up the possibility of Larkade not meaning this in a literal sense, and that he could have meant that Zerf actually created him in possibly the same means that he went about creating Natsu over 400 years ago. Now, in this case, I can actually see Larkade's past being something that is very simple and overall very straightforward. Now, if Zerf actually did create him, I believe that would have actually been after Mavis's death. Now, with the revelation of Mavis actually being Larkade's mother within Fairy Tale Chapter 509, many are starting to question where Larkay came to the picture within her life prior to her death from Zerf. But what if after Mavis died and prior to Zerf actually giving Mavis back to Hades, he took some of Mavis's DNA for a future project of his? Larkade could have actually then gone on to be raised by Zerf. Now, Zerf could have easily taught him his magic, seeing as he taught Mavis her magic, and once the Alvarez Empire was actually created, Zerf may have actually considered Larkade to be powerful enough to have a spot as a Spriggan, one of the Spriggan 12. He could have actually even possibly created Larkade with the end goal of defeating Acnologia with the use of Larkade, seeing as Natsu's end goal would have inevitably been to take down Zerf. Now, this next idea is definitely a huge shot in the dark, but in the instance that Zerf is actually Larkade's father, then the question of Larkade's past manifests into something huge. So, what if Larkade is Zerf and Mavis' son, but is from a different timeline where Zerf was never cursed by God Onxorom? We're all aware of the fact that Zerf has access to the Eclipse Gate. We all know that different timelines differ in the ways that they work. Example being future Lucy's timeline and Lucy's timeline. Future Lucy's timeline was taken over by dragons, while Lucy's timeline was prevented from take, being taken over by dragons and overran by them in the grand scheme of things. With this knowledge, we could actually assume that there's a different timeline, where Zerf possibly wasn't cursed by God Onkstrom. Again, huge shot in the dark, but what if Zerf met Mavis in this timeline and Larkade was the product of them? So it's possible that Zerf could have actually embarked on a journey that led him to this timeline where Larkade was the product of Mavis and Zerf. Then he could have actually taken Larkade and raised him. Now, I'm guessing Larkade would have probably been young at this time, younger than he is right now, and Zerf could have actually taught him his magic powerful enough to take down Act Logia from there. Again, as I said plenty of times now, this is so much speculation, just absolutely insane. This probably will never happen, but yeah. Tell me what you guys think about this theory. How do you guys believe Larkade's past took place? What do you guys think makes up his past against you, say? And how do you think he's related to Zerif? Don't forget to leave a like this video and show your support. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.